Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a chuck wagon. I take one finger over here on the left, right above I put a dot. And from that dot, I draw a slightly wavy line all the way over to the right. I come back to the left, and right about here, I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a circle. Then I'm going to take three fingers from there and put another dot. And on that dot, I'm going to draw another circle. I go back to my first circle and I put a baby circle inside and then I go one, two straight lines, 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 one, two straight lines. I come over to the right one and I put a baby circle and I go one, two straight lines, 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 one, two straight lines. Okay, now I'm going to start back over here on the left and I'm going to draw another line, curved line, all the way around my circle. And I come to the one on the right, and I'm going to do it again. Curve line all the way around on my circle. I come back in, and over on the left-hand side, I'm going to draw a straight line out, straight line up, straight line all the way over to about midpoint, straight line down. I come back over to... This section, we're going to jump over, we're going to make it even, straight line across, connect. And right here on the left part, I draw another curve line down, and another curve line down, and then I go one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. I come over here on the right, try and make it even with that side, and I'm going to draw one, two curved lines and then one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on, but we'll take it slow. Now I come back over here on the left and I'm gonna draw a straight line up, curve line over, keep going, keep going, about there and leave it floating. Come back over here and I'm gonna draw one, straight line, two straight lines, three straight lines down, one, two, three straight lines, one, two, three straight lines. I come over here and I draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, and down below I draw a straight line out, over, up, connect. Okay. Now I come over to this section right here and I'm going to draw a number eight, and then I'm going to draw curve line, curve line, connect. Next to that, I'm going to draw a flat oval, and I'm going to draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, and if you have room, draw a skinny straight oval and bring these all the way down so you can fit them all in. Come over to this and add slightly curved lines over. Okay, now I can add one more straight line at the bottom. Now I know this is a lot, so what I want you to do and remember is that you can use the pause button, pause where you are, do the drawing step, then start it up again. So you don't get mixed up and I don't get mixed up. Okay, now right here at this point, I'm gonna draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. Right about here I draw one flat oval, another flat oval, 
I draw a straight line down, straight line down, and I fill these in with straight lines going across, and then straight lines down, straight lines across, straight lines down. See, there's a lot of stuff inside a check wagon. Now I come above that and I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, jump over, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, straight lines down, straight lines down. Right above there if you have room, straight line across, straight line across, straight line across, straight line down, 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 dots in the middle, dots in the middle. And finally up here if you have room, straight line across, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. Okay. Now I come about midpoint right about here and I'm going to extend this line out, slightly curved out. I come back to the top one right here where I stop and I'm going to extend that one a little bit longer, straight diagonal down, connect. Then I'm going to put a straight line all the way down, connect. I'm going to put a straight line down, leave it floating. And I'm going to come back over to this space right here. Because what I'm going to do is do curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And every place I have an indentation, I'm going to put a little straight line all the way across. And above that, I'm going to put a dot all the way across. Now this is a lot of drawing and it's going to be a lot of coloring too, but we'll get it all done. Now I come back down here on the right and I'm going to draw a straight line out, straight diagonal, straight line out, little straight line, straight line, little straight line, diagonal line out, and then I go one, two, one, two. I come up and I draw a straight diagonal line, straight line, straight diagonal line, connect, and then I go curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Right next to this line, I'm going to draw a straight line, skinny rectangle. One, two, three, four straight lines, connect, and I'm going to put one, two, one, two straight lines down, one, two straight lines connect. Right above, I'm going to put slightly curved line, straight line, slightly curved line, curved line, curved line on top, little curved line up. Okay. Now, I am going to Right about here, if you have room, I'm going to put curve line, bigger curve line, curve line, curve line, and a little curve line down below, and a little teardrop inside. And then over here, about midpoint, I'm going to put straight diagonal up, little curve line down, and then I'm going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, little curve line, teardrop inside. We can put a little curve line on top. Let's go over to the one on the right, little curve line on top. Okay, now come back to the left. We're going to draw a slightly curved uh, curve line, jump over. We've got that one there. Let's do a slightly curved line, jump over, slightly curved line. Now come up to the very top, put a dot. Wavy, wavy, wavy line down, over, up connect. Put a dot. Wavy line down, wavy line down, connect. Put a dot. Wavy line down, wavy line down, connect. Put a dot. Wavy line down, wavy line down, connect. And if you have room, put a dot. Wavy line, wavy line down, connect. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, it can be kind of tricky coloring this in 
because a chuck wagon is basically a kitchen on wheels. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to take a peach or a tan or a light brown and I'm just going to color in. This is the roof or the tent top of my chuck wagon. You got to remember this is like a pantry on wheels. So this is my top. Then so that I can see what I'm doing I'm going to color in the wooden part. This is all wood. This is the wooden part of the wagon because the bottom part of the chuck wagon is a wagon. So I'm going to color this all in brown. I'm not going to do any of my details. Let's just get the main part of this colored in. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to do my wheels because so many times when you do something that's got a lot of detail like this does you're looking at it and it just looks so overwhelming you can't figure out what to do first always do the main parts the main it's almost like a body do your main body parts first so I'm going to do my wheels I did the wagon part you know this is also the wheel and it's all ready taking shape whereby I can see now what I drew okay all right so that's the main body parts of the wagon and already I forgot this little bit down here at the bottom this is also wagon okay now the rest of it is details okay so you can use any colors you want and what I did was I tried to choose colors that um, I could see. So even though these little plates would be maybe metal, I'm making mine green so that I can see that they are plates. I come in and I do this uh, container blue, even though I'm sure it was a different color. My rope, I'm going to leave alone. My axe, I'm going to do this red orange, a lot of gray. Use my gray for the metal. Okay, use my brown for my kindling wood to start my fire. Okay, then this is supposed to be a lantern. So you would have a lantern. So I'm going to do the top and the bottom black. And this is a lantern, top and the bottom black. And then just so that I can see it, I use yellow orange, yellow orange. And I put a little black dot for the wick, the frame. Okay? Now I come back over to my pantry, and that's this section here. And this has got to carry all of the flour and the beans and the meal. So that's what these containers are. You can make them any colors you want. I did mine green so they would kind of pop. I used my red orange so it would pop. I use blue green for my flower bags even though I'm sure they weren't blue green. Little tops right here. And then these little things with the dots, these are drawers. So these probably had spices and coffee and all of the little goodies that they would put in for their cooking. I did this next part brown and I did my top I think yellow green just to add some different colors you know you know how I am all right now I come over and this is uh, maybe a whole pan full of something and this is my coffee pot over here okay and it's sitting on top of I'm going to use my gray sitting on top of a uh, pull out tables because everything had to be pull out so I did this gray and then I switched did these legs green and this top green okay but you can do what you want to do any other colors you want okay then we're up in the mountains so I did green tree line that's what this is all the way across Again, you guys are all going to do way better coloring than I am. 
you could add mountains you can add the sun you can add more things this is the bare minimum then I went down to the bottom bottom and I did yellow green for the grass that the chuck wagon is parked on then I came back in here's my road Put a little peach or tan this is when you use all of your crayons in your crayon box or your crayon bag like mine and then finally I took my blue and I just added some stripes going horizontally to represent the great outdoors the great outdoors so this is your chuck wagon not colored in the best but you get the general idea like I said you all can color this in way better than me and like I said before if it goes too fast use that pause button step by step okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's my chuck wagon all colored in rolled up and ready to feed some hungry cowboys yeehaw okay bye bye <laughs>